Okay, so I feel like this is another one of those hair loss theory videos. And I really think that I'm on to something, okay? So I'm just gonna start it right now by saying this. Here's what I think. I think that when you look at the number of likes versus dislikes in my hair loss videos, what you're seeing is viewers identifying with their tribe. Now, I would love to think that we are all part of the brotherhood of the hair loss and we're all united by this. But really, with a group this big, 5,400 subscribers, which I'm so grateful that there's that many people who subscribe to my channel, what we see is we see divisions form. Because that's what happens. When you have that, the more people you have, there's always going to be smaller groups of people who identify more with each other within the bigger picture. Okay? So what happens is, just look at, look at videos, uh, certain videos that have lots of likes or dislikes. See, see some are moderate, you know, maybe five likes, two dislikes, whatever it is. But there's certain videos that get dozens of likes and dozens of dislikes. And what you're seeing is people are voting, saying, here's the tribe that I'm in, here's the tribe that I'm in within hair loss. Okay, do you want a perfect example? Okay, take any of the videos that I've made that were obviously meant uh, to be a character like the Naughty Nick video that I recently made, talking about being the alpha male of hair loss, that one. Or the one where I, for a minute, just looked at my hair after I put oil in it. You know, when, we, when we're when we looking at videos like that, or the one that I beg people not to unsubscribe. I was this very insecure guy begging you not to unsubscribe. When I play those over-the-top characters on my channel, that's when the voting happens, okay? So you'll see at least a dozen people or more like the video, you'll see usually more dislike the video. What I'm telling you right now is that's people voting, that's people identifying with their tribe, okay? Before I get to what exactly that tribe means, let me just throw a very familiar concept with you, sports. What does Nick Shell say about sports? Waste of time, it doesn't make me money, so I don't care. Why would I care about this color shirt winning against that color shirt? The traders are interchangeable season to season, how does it affect my life? It doesn't. Let other people waste their time and money on sports. Okay? That, but it's an arbitrary decision. Where's my tribe? Do I care about this team or this team? We do the same. Not we, because I'm a libertarian. People do the same thing with politics. If you like something that is Republican or Democrat on your Facebook feed, you get fed more of that, just like you would for my channel. You get fed more hair loss videos if you watch other hair loss videos. I keep showing up because I have more hair loss videos than any other YouTuber. Uh, at this time, I've, I mean, I've got to that point. I think it's over 2,400 now, 2,400 videos on this channel. So what happens is social media networks reinforce what you're already into, what your tribe is. Okay. Now, now that we understand that, let's go back to the concept of people voting who they are on this channel. Okay. So the minority, when we have videos that get lots of likes versus dislikes, or either way. Videos with, that, where people are very actively voting, because that's what liking and disliking is. You're voting. You're identifying with your tribe. Okay. So, if let's start with who who dislikes my video. See, I've got this. It, remember, you reduce me to hair loss, and I reduce you to psychology. Here's what. Here's people who dislike my videos. Here's what they're saying. Nick, I don't get it. I don't get the joke. I don't get what you're doing. You, that's what. That's what they're saying. And also in that group is people who get angry because they so misinterpret what my actual message was. When I play characters, I am, there's always some kind of hidden meaning in that, that those people who give the thumbs down, they don't get the joke. It is a joke. Okay? So let's go to the people who are liking these videos. Those are the people who get the joke. Okay? So now that it's been a few days, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to admit. Okay, the video that I made talking about how masculinity is, is, is under assault, you know, that, remember that video? And it didn't take too long before people started realizing something looked really weird about my lips. Exactly. The irony that I would make a video saying how masculine I am, while yes, I admit it and I don't, I'm not ashamed of it, I wore my wife's lipstick for the video. And I never mentioned it and I never brought it up, but I wanted to point out the irony that someone would say how masculine they are. Well, in a very subtle way, if you really were paying attention, I was wearing women's lipstick. Now, for the people who caught on to that, those were the people who liked it. They're like, ha, I see, I get it. I'm part of his tribe. He's sending a, a message to me about masculinity, about 
how if you're so caught up in the concept of masculinity, that's probably not even masculine anymore. That's probably feminine because females are very much into being insecure in who they are and trying to figure it out all the time. Men, that's not their job. Men, men's job is to know who they are. But the fact that I would wear lipstick while talking about how masculine I am was the joke. And the people who gave it a thumbs up probably realized that that was the message. People disliked it. Maybe they were confused by it. Again, they voted that they were part of the tribe that doesn't get what I'm doing. Okay, because that's, that's what ultimately this channel is. We could almost say that this whole channel is just a joke. A joke that the minority get and the other people who are so obsessed with hair loss, they can't take a joke. And by the way, I'd already made a video about this. Ultimately, if you can't get the joke that I'm often doing in these videos, the chances are you're probably not funny. And that's, a, that's the major problem. You know, when it comes to people liking you, despite hair loss, with or without hair loss, they care more about whether you're funny and relatable and a good communicator than you do have hair. So if you don't get the humor in these videos, chances are you're not funny and you can't make other people laugh. That's one of my theories. So when I see people thumbs downing, I'm like, yep, there's more people that aren't funny, can't make other people laugh, probably aren't good at communicating. Meanwhile, the people that are thumbs upping those silly videos that I make, like, yep, I'm with Nick. I, I, I see the secret message he's sending in here. He's acting kind of weird in this video, so there's probably some kind of hitting meaning. Oh, and I get it. He is basically making a vid video to th that he knows the people who will not like it will not understand the joke, but I'm with Nick. I get that. And I think, too, the people who are thumbs upping my videos are the people who, despite balding, still find their identity, whether it's faking it till you make it, shaving off your hair, ultimately just, or maybe doing like I'm doing, you're keeping hair while you still have enough to have hair, and then, but you've accepted your fate, and you don't find your, your confidence or identity in hair loss, and hair, that's not part of your identity, okay? Those, that's really what the brand message is in all of this. And what happened to me is I had so many people get angry with me or disagree with me, you know, or people that want to reinf they want to, what's the word? They want to project their own insecurities. They'd say, Nick, why don't you just shave your ha hair off? Nick, why don't you just get a hair transplant? Nick, why don't you just take Propecia? And they're saying, Nick, that's what I would do, so you should do what I, I would. And, and, and Nick, Nick Shell says, do whatever you want to do. But ultimately, what I'm not going to do is live my life in fear and anxiety because it is a choice. And I've said before, you can't choose you can't always choose to change. You don't always have control over the problem, but you do have control over your perspective. And it's just like I would tell one of my children is that you can't always change how you feel, but you can change how you act. That is a decision that you get to make, how you act, how you react based on how you feel, right? And ultimately, a lot of the guys who thumbs down myself, they don't have that emotional control over themselves yet. Okay? So, ultimately, here's what it's like. It's like this. It's like when you're in school and you get on the bus. And we all know how it is. The cool kids in school, they're on the back of the bus, hanging out, having fun. And then the people at the front of the bus, not so much fun going on, right? Maybe paper wads were being thrown at the at the front of the bus, maybe paper airplanes, I don't know, right? They were having more fun and the people up front were oblivious. Now granted, any time the people at the front of the bus could have came to the back and hung out with everybody else and had fun, but instead they were too busy doing whatever to do and facing that one direction at the front to turn aside even so that, hey, you know what? We can actually have fun on the bus? Oh, okay, and by the way, the bus in this video is a metaphor for hair loss. So we're on the hair loss bus. A lot of people don't understand that what I'm trying to do ultimately is use humor as therapy for us to get over hair loss in this journey. For those of, And the people who need it most are usually the people who can't even see it, can't get it, only get angry with it. Those are the people who thumbs down my videos. But the people who are with me, who get my message, who understand what I'm doing using humor as therapy, and really just want to have fun anyway, as we're all looking for our tribe. That's the thumbs up crowd. And I say, there's always gonna be more people that thumbs down when I have a silly video than do a thumbs up. Because most people are not gonna be able to accept 
what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to help people. And especially the thumbs down people don't understand, they will never accept that I'm ultimately motivated by the money that I'm making. Someone had even recently said, oh, so really, so it was a joke for the last two years when you've been using rosemary oil for your videos, that was just a joke? Well, I guess if you, you look at the concept of laughing all the way to the bank, because those are my some of the most popular videos when I say, here's a year and a half of using rosemary oil. High ratings, high ratings equals more money in my pocket. So yeah, it's a joke because I'm laughing all the way to the bank. I know how to make certain videos to get more people to watch them, and I do that. But those that's not my heart. My heart is fun videos where I get to be real with you, and the deeper we look into the psychology of this, the more fun we can have. So, what tribe are you with? You be the judge. Not necessarily here in the comments, but in the likes. That'll tell me who you are.